Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So in my last video I talked about the definition of graph and types of graph. In today's video I will talk about the degree of a vertex. So now what do you mean by degree? Now it is the number of edges that is incident on a vertex. So the degree of any vertex A is written as BET and we enclose the vertex in parentheses. Now, for example, if we have this graph and this graph has the vertices A, B, C and D. So, if we have to calculate the degree of vertex A, we will count how many edges are getting incident on this vertex. So, you can see that two vertices, two edges are getting incident on this vertex. So, the degree of vertex A will become 2. Similarly, if I talk about vertex B, for vertex B, again two edges are getting incident on this vertex. So the degree of vertex B is also 2. Now let's come to vertex C. Now in case of vertex C, you can see that three edges are getting incident on vertex C and hence the degree of vertex C becomes 3. Now let's talk about the last vertex that is vertex D. Now in case of vertex D, only one edge is incident on it. So, the degree of this vertex becomes 1. Right? So, now this is in case of an undirected graph. Now, let's see what are the concepts of the degree in case of a directed graph. So, if the vertex degree is 0, that means that vertex is not connected to the rest of the graph with the help of edges, then that vertex is called an isolated vertex. What is an isolated vertex? It is that vertex which has degree 0. And similarly, if a vertex has degree 1, then that vertex is called a pendant vertex. So in the given graph, we can see that the degree of vertex D is 1. So this is acting as a pendant and hence it is called a pendant vertex. Right? Okay. Now let's come to isolated vertex and pendant vertex pendant vertex. Now in this case you can see that all these vertices are having degree 0. So all these vertices are called isolated vertex. Now let's talk about this graph. In this you can see that the degree of each of these vertices is 1. So both the vertex will be called pendant vertex. Right? Okay. Now in case of a directed graph, we will have, as I told you that for an undirected graph, we will only count that how many edges are incident on that vertex and that becomes its degree. So now let's talk about a directed graph. Now what happens? What is the degree in case of a directed graph? So undirected graph we have already seen. So this is an example. So you can see that there are vertices A, B, C, D, E. So you can easily say that the degree of vertex A is 2, the degree of vertex B is 3, the degree of vertex C is 1, the degree of vertex D is 2 and the degree of vertex E is 1. So therefore, since the degree of vertex C is 1, it is called a pendant vertex and the degree of vertex E is 0, so it is called a isolated vertex. Right? Okay. Now let's talk about another exercise. So here we have to find the degree of each of these vertices. So you can try here that degree of vertex A is 2, degree of vertex B is 2, degree of vertex C is 2, degree of vertex D is 2 and degree of vertex E is 0. So in this case there is one isolated vertex E and there are no pendant vertex in this graph. Right? Okay. Next, now what is the concept of degree in case of a directed graph? Now in case of a directed graph, the degree has two meanings. One is in degree and the second one is out degree. Now what is in degree? In degree of a graph means it is the number of edges which are coming into the vertex V. So from the word in, it means when it is coming into that vertex. So the in degree is denoted like degree of, we write here, since it is in, so we will write here a negative sign. Right? So this is the notation. 
And what is the out degree? Out degree means the number of edges which are going out from that vertex. And what is the notation for out degree? We'll write degree of vertex V and we'll put a plus sign here. So minus sign means that these are the edges which are moving out, moving into, sorry. And plus sign means the number of edges which are going out from that one, right? So let's take an example and see it. So this you can see is a graph and you can see that it is a directed graph. Every edge has some direction. Right now, in this case, when we have to calculate the degree of a vertex, we will calculate the in degree and out degree of each of the vertices and we will add them. Right, so let's prepare a table. We will jot down all the vertices and we will write their in degrees and out degrees. So, to start with, let's start with vertex number A. Now, how many edges are moving into this vertex? So, you can see there is only one edge which is moving into. So the end degree of vertex A is 1. And how many edges are moving out from this vertex? So you can see two edges are moving out. So if I fill this table, the in degree becomes 1 and out degree becomes 2. Now let's talk about vertex B. Now how many edges are moving inside this? It is two edges are moving inside. And you can see that none of the edges are moving out from this vertex. So the in degree is 2 and out degree is 0. Now let's talk about vertex C. Now for vertex C you can see that two edges are again moving inside this. So the in degree is 2 and one edge is moving out. So the out degree is 1. So in degree is 2, out degree is 1. So now let's talk about vertex D. Now in this case one is going inside, one is moving outside. So for vertex D, in degree is 1 and out degree is 1. Now let's talk about vertex E. For vertex E, you can see that one is moving inside and the other one is moving outside. So again, the in degree and out degree is 1. And then let's talk about vertex F. So you can see that one is moving in and one is moving out. So again, the in degree and out degree is 1. And then you can finally check for vertex G. So for vertex G, you can see that what is happening, nothing is going inside it, but two edges are moving outside. So the in degree is 0 and the out degree is 2. Right? Now, how will I get the degree of vertex A? I will add the in degree and out degree. So the degree of vertex A will become the degree of this vertex will become 3, the degree of vertex B will become 2, the degree of vertex C will become 3, the degree of vertex D will become 2, then similarly we will say that the degree of vertex E is 2, then we will say that degree of vertex F is 2 and then the degree of vertex G is 2. Right? Now, there are some interesting features that come out from the, this table that the degree of any vertex in case of a directed graph becomes its in degree plus out degree. Secondly, if you add these out degrees of all the vertices, it will be always equal to the sum of the in degrees of all the vertices and it will be also equal to the number of edges. So, here if I count the in degrees, I'll get 2 plus 2, 4, plus 1, 5, plus 1, 6, plus 1, 7, plus 1, 8. So the sum of the in degree is 8. Now if you add the out degrees, out degrees is also coming out to be 8. And if you count the edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So always in case of a directed graph, the sum of the in degrees, the sum of the out degrees, and the number of edges, they are always equal. Right? Okay. So now this is one of the exercises. So you have to calculate the in degree and out degree of each of these vertices. You can write this as an exercise. The answers are already given in this table. So you can cross check it. Right. And now what is degree sequence? The last thing. Degree sequence is when we calculate the degrees of each of the vertices and we put in a non-increasing order. 
that means from largest degree to the smallest degree. Now, for example, here, this is a graph. You can see that all the vertices that are marked, they are marked with the help of their degrees only. You can see that the pink vertex has degree 0, the purple vertex has degree 1, the orange vertex has degree 3, the red vertex has degree 2, the green vertex has degree 3 and the brown vertex has degree 1. So we have to write the degrees in, from largest to the smallest. So how to write it? We will write 3 is the largest. There are two vertices of degree 3. Then there is one vertex of degree 2, one vertex of degree 1, one vertex of degree 1 and then 0. So this becomes the degree sequence of this. Right? So degree sequence is the arrangement of the degrees of its vertices in a decreasing order, from largest to small. Right? So that's all in this video. Thank you so much. And do subscribe my channel and kindly share the videos with all those students who require them. Believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you.